Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here to my channel, here I talk about everything luxury and um, how to enjoy them mindfully. Um, and if this is of something interest to you, please consider subscribing and thumb up the video if you like it. Today I want to share with you uh, my uh, experience at the recent um, Chanel Perfumer Masterclass um, that I was invited to from uh, Chanel Beauty. Um, I think they probably just sent out invites to customers who have uh, purchased uh, Chanel Beauty, particularly um, perfume range I suppose. I don't know how they really choose, you know, uh, who to send the invite to. Um, I've heard that people could just, you know, walk. If you knew the uh, event exists, you could just walk up and try your luck. Um, but yeah, um, I did per make a purchase um, during the event um, and it did come with quite a lot of goodies. So I thought I'll share it with you today in this video. Um, first up, I'll show the, I guess, freebies um, during um, this event, um, which are very cute. So this is a um, the cement. Uh, it's made in Spain. Um, it's like a s little cement um, dabba um, that they actually um, give out uh, during the event um, where you actually use this to dip into the perfume bottle the x-ray bottle and they teach you to use this to dab to your pulse point um, because the x-ray version of um, the perfume is so potent that you only need, need a, a small amount so yeah so during the event they sort of brought out a little bottle of the x-ray number five um you know the x-ray bottle and we each get to use this um, dipper to dip into the tiny bottle and and use it on our skin um, and also you get this gift as well which is a little again is a little cement charm a camellia charm um, and basically um, spray perfume onto this little cement um, piece and basically the perfume scent will last they say for like you know a few days to a week um, so this is very cute um, in the camellia shape um, I, I don't know what this I guess string is about to be honest uh, I suppose you can use it to tie it against things I wouldn't suppose anyone would want to wear this um, as it is the string I suppose you can upcycle it um, with a prettier string I suppose and use it as like a, a bracelet a little bracelet um, but I for me I think I would probably use it um, to send maybe my handbags I don't know I haven't decided um, but it is certainly uh, quite cute and who doesn't love a freebie from Chanel um, so this is definitely uh, very cute um, and yeah I guess one of the perks of um, you know doing this perfume masterclass look the event overall I think um, is very uh, you know I guess in terms of the displays of all the um, exclusive uh, collection uh, which I've insert the video at the beginning of this video um, it's all quite well done that it gives the, the sort of the background idea uh, behind the, um, the the perfume itself and you've got you know motorized backdrop very um, artistic looking um, display so that that part I enjoy I do have to say though one of the things that I think Chanel could have done better is they didn't provide any refreshments apart from bottles of water like you know I just thought that's 
a little bit stingy, to be honest. I was expecting a you know, little canapes, um, but maybe that's for, you know, clients who are more VIP, I guess, whereas, you know, this event I think is probably more like open to, you know, I, I don't know whether they have different tiers of clients, like, you know, the general clients who, you know, is dabbling a little bit in, in Chanel beauty perhaps. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, no, I was expecting a little bit, you know, of at least, you know, little little canapes here and there. Um, but unfortunately, no. So I'm glad I did have breakfast before I went there and just, you know, thinking that I would go there and expect to be fed. Um, and you basically get shown, you know, the history about Chanel perfume, how they produce it, you know, where they get sourced their raw material, the jasmine from, um, and all of that. You also get, you know, this little notebook that you can make some notes when you sort of, you know, do the master class. And they bring around sort of different types of scents that the Chanel uh, perfume are based on. So, you know, you get to smell the, some of the raw ingredients and then how they actually use those raw ingredients to produce different type of um, perfume that, you know, smells so differently, you know, but then still with that, you know, background uh, scent. Um, you know, of say the lavender, um, of you know bergamot and and things like that. Um, yeah, so you also get this you know pencil, which is quite a cute pencil, and I do love my stationery. So um, you know, I do love this um, you know little notebook and uh, very um, up class looking uh, pencil. Um, it, the, the pencil writes very smoothly and well. But, you know, it's a pencil still. Um, and at the end of the class, you kind of get to sort of do a little bit of a perfume blind test again. Now, I've already done a blind test um, in my local boutique, but I did another one here and um, I got some different results. And this is what I picked up uh, on the day. So is the beige or the perfume um, from the exclusive range. Um, and yeah, I was thinking, you know, worst case scenario, I'll just get another bottle of, uh, another, another bottle of Comet since I love that scent so much. Um, but, um, yeah, I kind of came across this beige, um, which I have fallen in love with, um, straight away and decided to purchase the, um, big bottle and I just love the bottle the packaging the lid of the Chanel exclusive um, bottle, you know, with the Chanel logo embossed, um, you know, you can see the, the um, indentation uh, at the top here, and that's reflected, uh, you know, on the other side of the bottle, you can see that, you know, it's not just drawn, it's actually pressed into the lid of the bottle, so um, very classy and elegant and I just love love the scent it gives me a feeling of um, a, you know the scent of sunshine through the window in winter um, the fresh dried laundry you know if you sort of you know dry laundry um, indoor which is what I do um, because trying to avoid pollens and dust and things like that for my um, you know son with sensitive skin that freshness of you know winter um, you know sunlight drying up the clothes in the morning it, it just gives me that feeling that you know very crisp winter morning but the warmth of the sunlight um, that's what beige was giving me the feeling of um, so that's that's yeah that's 
that's why I'm loving this scent at the moment um, which I think is interesting because beige probably isn't that much of a winter scent um, I don't know but that's that's you know how I'm enjoying it at the moment um, so yeah back to the freebie I could see that they have like a small um, freebie gift bag and then a bigger one so I assume if you buy the bigger full-size bottle you'll get the bigger one so that's why I went for the full-size bottle um, and there it is it's a big um, sort of beauty pouch um, with the embroidered Chanel beauty at the at the front it's quite a well-made fabric bag um, and let's see what's inside here it looks like it's a Comet um, perfume sample so that's lovely because it is one of my favorite uh, fragrance and I've recently uploaded a video about my uh, fragrance collection if you haven't caught up with that video I'll leave a link up on the screen and down below um, so yeah so good that I get an extra perfume sample from Comet uh, of the Comet and what is this oh this is the oh it's so cute is the metallic um, star uh, so called the comet um, the jewelry piece uh, initially you know from Chanel I think this represents that it's so cute um, I can make use of this uh, on my Christmas tree uh, when it comes to Christmas so, so cute so gorgeous I'm glad because I missed out on this when Comet was released um, I didn't get this initially um, maybe it's because I haven't really sort of developed a uh, relationship with my local boutique at that point in time or maybe when I sort of purchased the bottle is already ran out um, but I'm so glad they put it in this little freebie pouch so that I could catch it again. So lovely. So I will definitely make use of this and sorry about my kid in the background if you can hear him he is just super excited. Um, I think he's playing Mario Kart so he's just like yeah very excited and self narrating anyway um, next what's in here oh, looks like it's a blue the blue de Chanel uh, sample I think they market it as a male fragrance range I haven't smelled it before so I'll see whether I like it um, my husband doesn't really wear perfume so it's for moi and uh, what is this hmm let's have a look oh what oh, looks like so it's in a pretty fabric pouch yep so um, it's a double-sided mirror I don't know I think I prefer the sort of the standard mirror with the lid um, so you can see here one side is more magnified um, whereas the other one is like normal reflection um, look I just think if I mean it is a freebie freebie I shouldn't complain but um, I just think it's going to be like a fingerprint magnet you know if I actually was to use it for makeup um, you know it doesn't have a lid um, and once you've got fingerprints on the mirror it's not going to be very good at reflecting um, what is supposed to reflect when you do makeup so yeah I don't think I'll use it um, I don't know maybe if my mirrors break then that would be my spare mirror um, and then you've got some sample of the number one Chanel um, skincare range. You've got the serum, the larger size there looks like. And then you've got, it looks like it's a Coco Mademoiselle um, sample. Oh, 
This is cute. Oh, it's such a cute little tiny bottle. Um, all right. I wasn't expecting this. Um, cause I yeah, look, the samples are usually just like a little spray bottle, but this is so cute. It's like a miniature. Oh, that is that is just like collection worthy, don't you reckon? It's so cute. Um, you know, if I was to place it next to the big size bottle, it's like, you know, mummy and baby. Um, very cute. And um oh, look, I just can't get over this. Um, it is plastic, uh, rather than glass. Um, obviously I guess for a, such a small sized bottle it'll be very difficult to make it out of glass and it's uh, yeah, just 1.5 mils there so cute I just can't get over how cute this is oh my goodness reminds me of back in the old days when you know perfume um, samples used to be miniature bottles of the big bottles like you know I remembered when I used to you know look um, at my mum's uh, perfume collection she would have all these all these like tiny 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 miniature samples which you used to be able to buy I think at duty free stores um, that's where she got hers from it's like you know basically a, you know certain brands like you know kind of sample collection and they're all like miniature different types of styles of bottles of the of the actual big big um version uh, of the big version um but they don't do that nowadays i don't think that much anyway um so what else is in there have i emptied all the goodies from this makeup pouch uh looks like i have and let's see yeah so you can see the the material of the pouch is actually quite good it's all cotton it feels like and it's quite thick substantial um so you can see here yep 100 percent cotton and um i can't find a made in wear tag which generally means it's not made in france um because usually they would have it very visible if it's made in france or any other european country um let's see yeah look the stitching and all that um it's actually yeah no it's uh, it's quite well made look you know as far as freebies go and you know it's good that the the pouch can actually stand um because of you know it's not a slim pouch and they've actually kind of you know for the base they've extended it so they've kind of used an extra piece of fabric for the bottom um which makes the pouch you know i guess in terms of capacity a lot better and it can fit bulkier items and also it can stand um so definitely a very cute um makeup uh beauty pouch that i would be using if i was to travel and i don't travel a lot but you know it's always uh, useful maybe i can actually use it as a pencil case too you know when i sort of Oh, I think I can use it to keep my notebooks actually that would be good because my plastic um, pouch is actually breaking apart and I'm just here reorganizing all the little freebies for a little thumbnail shot um, and yeah this is it from me today um thank you very much for watching and i will insert some more sort of you know little clips of my perfume class experience if you're interested um, please take a look and if you like this video please um thumb up and subscribe to my channel it really means a lot to me and i see you next time you all take care bye Thank you.